All right, folks, welcome back. I have one of those very rare games that's going to make up for all those crappy games you have ever played. So this game is like one in a few thousand. You will feel great. You will absolutely dominate. And it will make up for all those garbage rank battle modes or normal battle that you got trolled or ragey or all the good stuff. So a little spoiler, but then again, the thumbnail is already spoiling the video. So I'm playing the Luva. It's a tier A premium, normal uh, German heavy. It's not a special German premium. Doesn't appear like special sales. It's available all year round. So it's still pretty decent of a German heavy tank. It is large. It is fat. It has a pretty accurate gun, and penetration is also not bad. It's about 234 millimeters of pin for AP shell, and that at tier eight for a heavy tank is pretty good considering that it's also a premium so it will make a lot of credits without spamming a lot of gold shells and even if you do it has a high penetrating about 300 millimeter apcr round which is also pretty good so luva is one of those old classics it has high penetration pretty decent view range strong armor for the turret and decent upper plate but the downside is dpm sucks it's slow so it's a large fat German heavy, but once you get it to work, once you get the gun going, you'll get a lot of damage and rack up a lot more credits than normally something like a German, I don't know, Revalorize A. <laughs> but then again, Revalorize A gets decent damage if you stay alive long enough, which is uh, hard to do. <laughs> so as you can see, a lot of my teammates did not win for the bottom front. They all went for the valley and the bridge. They are winning, so we have to hold out against the medium tank push and the tank destroyer push coming from the bottom. So I did not charge into the bottom front. That is what you should not do. If they make it to the middle, you'll get outflanked and you will die pretty quickly. So as I see, uh, only a Borresk and a few tier 7 heavies. Not really worthwhile to charge forward and we are struggling still to win the bridge and the uh, valley so no, all right we'll just hang around a little bit and you're going up against fast mediums too so they're not going up against slow heavies so we'll take our time but right now we're down three tanks two to five that's not good so i'm thinking i should help out a little bit more on the bridge front but yeah the Luva is not fast to ship around and help out different fronts, so I'm still stuck in choke points, luckily. And I could help out a little bit, but now it's down to 2 to 7. <laughs> but uh, still trying to shoot the KB3, so uh, I'll shoot your manly. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but German heavy tanks are slow. They're, I mean, they need a buff. E75 is getting a buff. E100 is getting a buff. I don't know about Tiger 2, but they were mentioning on the Super Test server that they are buffing the old heavy tanks like the KV-3 and the STI and the IS-4 and the German heavies like the E75 and the E100, but there were no mentioning of the Tiger 2 or Tiger 1. Tiger 1, I don't know, it's, it's just a difficult spot to think about Tiger 1. Tiger 1 has a lot of DPM, a lot of health. It's basically a TOG. But right now, as you can see, we're down six tank. It's four to ten. We lost the river front. We are stalemating on the bridge front. So I thought to myself, let's just camp base. And this will be my pride rock. So the lonely Lion King, the Luva King. But I have a rammer, a vents, and vertical stabilizer. So my DPM is about six times uh 320 so it's about 2000 dpm it's not great but luva doesn't really have that much dpm anyway so camping base we're up 5 to 11 now so that's good but camp base turn my ass around and use gun depression surprisingly the luva has i think about 10 degrees of gun depression with a very decent turret it's rounded it's hard to pin the cupola, even if you can pin the cupola, but 
Don't know why this T34 2G went down to the valley. I don't know. Maybe he thought the ProRes will cover him. ProRes has a auto loader, and it takes time. So, okay. But there's a guy drilling outside. Hopefully, you don't hear him or vacuum me. I don't even know. Oh, it's three full health. Oh shit! <laughs> I took two hits from the ProRes. Oh, only one hit from ProRes. Alright, 512. I can do this. <laughs> but, oh man, you lost the riverfront. It takes time for the riverfront to go up the hill, but still. Mm, Alright, so basically, this is the only way I can hold out this position. I was thinking the Borrest should come up with me, but he is hanging around the forest. So, alright, if you want to hang around the forest, I'll. Uh, okay. I'll try to support him if I can. The T-34 2G will spot a little bit. So the only downside to this map is... Um, <laughs> there's only three ways to attack on this map. And that's pretty it. Alright, uh, it's three. I got spotted, obviously. There is some cover. Alright, but Boris is dead. Right. IS-3 notice I'm here. T-34-2G is spotted. I do not want to trade shots with the IS-3 right off the bat. There's a Hellcat spamming gold shell. Nice. Got my upper plate, or down the lower plate. That was unfortunate, but... Here comes the swarm of dudes. <laughs> 613 and 614. Alright. Myself versus... Oof. <laughs> Nine are the dudes. Alright, IS-3 goes towards to YOLO me. Alright, you have no gun depression, sir. Stay back. I have Gocha ready. <laughs> Stay back. Oh, I got shot in the back by a Yak Panther. Alright, so... Unfortunate. I'm not worried about the T-50-2. Alright, Yak Panther got my ammo rack. That's unfortunate. Alright. Everybody spam shells now. Alright, I'm being penned by a Firefly. I'm using this T-50-2 as cover. I keep ramming him with my upper plate just to detract him a little bit more. Alright, I got two more shells into my turret. Alright, take my time. Now kill a little bit more targets than I'm used to. Firefly is still jamming shots. But he's not taking cover for some reason. Alright, got him. Hellcat. I lost all health right there, but we're up four, so that's good. Our right, Hellcat, he's not gonna push me. I can push him all I want. All right, where's the IS-2 coming along? There are two capping base, so logically, if you were in this position facing a golf, well, facing off a Luva that's holding out, all you have to do is just cap the base. You don't have to wait for uh, me to come down. Oh, you have to wait for me to come down. You don't have to directly engage a Luva that's hauled down on top of a hill. So, alright. Got the IS-2 that was capping. So basically, don't mob, or if you're going to rush the Luva in my situation, rush it all at the same time. Don't rush it like one person with one person. And if you're going to cap, cap everybody instead of one person capping. So, three players alive, one showed up in the cap circle, One's a Yak Panther, one's a SU-100, and a T-34-85 in. So I'm taking my time. You have the cap. There's 1 minute and 30 seconds seconds of uh, cap time. So I have plenty of time. And I have a small cover. <laughs> so there were a few good hits from the Yak Panther into my hull, but... Uh, okay, he was driving around. <laughs> I want to get a better hit or a better shot. There's one in cap, and the Yak Panther is coming towards me. I have cover, and you're not gonna pin my superstructure or the upper plate. There's no way. There's no way you penetrate the turret of this thing, even from a even leveled uh, position rather than elevated position. So there is still one capping. I cannot see him. There's an SU-100. Got spotted. I back off a little bit. I'm worried about the T-34-85M. So haven't spotted that guy. There he is. Okay, luckily I bounced that shot. <laughs> that was lucky with the auto click. Right click, left click. 
And here we go, taking out this SU-100. Now, he is obviously going to not let me until he gets a better shot at my lower plate. And I'm one hit from his 122 or 100 millimeter. Usually it's a 122 on the SU-100. So I have to not let him get my lower plate and time is running out. Seven seconds, five seconds. So, ah, fuck it, let's go for it. All right, he, he hits the tracks and he doesn't have the 122. It looks like an 85 or 100 millimeter, which is unfortunate. <laughs> and I got him. <laughs> but there you go, folks. It was like 6 versus 14. <laughs> it was pretty insane, but I'll post all the results and I'll post the replay link to this replay, but that was uh that was a uh, Lion King, the Luva King on top of Pride Rock facing off against 900 people. <laughs> I have one of these pools metal game in my Sherman Jumbo on Himmelstorf. But then again, a lot of the lower tier players like tier 4, tier 6, they don't really know what the hell they're doing and don't know, don't know what to coordinate their attacks or how to outplay the opponent. But they obviously go 1 versus 1 versus 1 and come at me one at a time. Obviously, I'm going to win every single engagement unless you flank around or shoot me in the ass like what the Yak Panther did. But... I hold out, so luckily the Luva has above average health and it can it can take a few hits, but that was good. That was one of a few thousand games. That was another pools medal to my collection, but th that one was earned. Whereas previous ones like my Type 61, that was kill stealed. <laughs> that wasn't earned. I even have that gameplay from like three or four years ago on the YouTube channel, but that pools medal was not earned. <laughs> This one was earned, but thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.